he's in withdrawal, I think he must have been hallucinating. What must have happened, my laboratory men used him in an experiment, not knowing that he was an addict. I think I'd better get him home. If I can be of any help, call me. Ian told me what she and Guy did. She's really sorry. Why? 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 Herschel, she didn't understand that you were already addicted. She wouldn't have done it. And I thought she loved me. She does love you. Look, we don't always understand the purpose and why things happen. We've got to have faith. Faith? All the faith I had, I lost it can get it back. Ask God to increase your faith. Please try. Oh, Lord, my God. Help me. Help me once more. Get out of this hell. We will. I know we will. There's much to warn us all of the trends our destiny is taking. Our scientists agree that the one immutable law of life is change. There's much talk and protests about everything, about pollution, about drugs and their abuse. And this has been a story based partly on fact, partly on probability. But the horrors that occur in the minds of those who allow the indiscriminate use of the human body as a mixing bowl for drugs and chemicals are as real as the real horror. So when you eat or take into your body any chemical or drugs, you take a chance on reactions that are untested, unpredictable. There are government agencies, many responsible groups, fighting the use of chemicals in the food we eat. And yet there are far too, <laughs> far too many of us who go right on taking the good way of life for granted, ignoring the warnings. So <laughs> let's give a little thought to making our own story <coughs> Have a happy ending. <coughs> 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 Thank you.